gonna go ahead and read you page seven of Ultimate Security Antivirus. Now this software here is the one that comes up with everything. This is the website right here. I will post the link on the description of the video for this website, for this webpage, so you can download it for yourself and install it. But as you see, page seven has many software. Right now we're gonna read you Ultimate Security, which is pretty much all in one, all of these in one. That's why I wanted to read you this one so we can see every feature but they also have total security, antivirus, secure web, enterprise security, and more security. All right, this is what the program looks like once you download it. Right now we're using the free trial. Um, right off the bat, I'm right now at the settings. If you go to home, if you're using the free trial, it's gonna tell you that your protection status is at risk, so you need to activate it. That's because you're on the free trial. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the settings here. The settings pretty much is where all the meat is in this software. And this software looks pretty, um, I like the font on it. They went pretty, pretty um, technologically looking, pretty cool looking I say, the, the font that it uses on all this. Um, so here in the settings we, we can go ahead and take a look at antivirus and antivirus settings. And here they have pretty much a lot of stuff. I recommend leaving it how it is, but here you can actually change what what the sentry is going to scan, that's the call it the sentry. You can do automatic identification, specific extensions, I recommend you leave all this how it is, but you can actually come in here and change. They have this, uh, what they call carnivore technology, and I think it's pretty mediocre, pretty crazy uh, that they call it carnivore, but any anyway, it, it's a type of technology that can, that can detect malware on your computer while you're browsing. Let's go ahead and take a look at the firewall here. This is where you can uh, look at your home network. Make extensions. You can actually go in here and make rules for extensions. Exceptions, I mean. Sorry about that. And you can go ahead and uh, change the um, firewall for the applications that you want to do. Now, I access the console action whenever you're going to use one of these applications. You can do that. It will tell you if there's been intrusions on your computer and as you can see I have it has caught a couple intrusions so that's good I like that that's good and you can go ahead and change the authentication it does have anti-spam the software but it looks like it only works with Outlook Express and Outlook you can come in here and change it uh, for spam you can put new user rules for you know you want to block certain emails from coming in from a certain address you can do that we have web protection on the software also. I recommend you always keep these checked. Uh, safe surf, safe search and ID protection. Always keep these checked. All right. You can also uh, control your devices. You can disable devices on your computer. You want to disable USB. Let's say you have people getting on the computer. You don't want them to use this, the USB drive for some reason. You can do that. You can actually do that. Privacy. You, you can also configure privacy on here. And uh, you can add, for example, bank account number, credit card number, um, passwords, telephone, social security number, all that stuff. You can put it in here and uh, it can be configured, which I think this can be a little risky to do. You've got to really add a password to this software, which is good. But you can do that. You can add bank account numbers, credit card numbers, all of that uh, for privacy. Parental control. I wanted to talk about the parental control in the software, how it sucks. It's pretty much useless. Uh, you can go ahead and select the user account that you will use and modify user settings. You can come in here. You can choose the internet at any time or you cannot access the internet at any time. Privacy, all this stuff. But if you want to actually block websites, you got to actually manually put them in here and uh, that way they'll be be blocked. That's why they got a very low rating for PC Magazine for uh, parental control because it's, it's pretty much useless. It doesn't do it automatically. You got to come in here manually and put whatever websites you want to block. They should have a template or something to block certain websites. You know, like for example, uh, something that has to do with sex, porn, uh, violence, stuff like that. Keywords. They should have keywords on here. You know, and having keyword hit, and I think that's why they got very low rating for that. And you can come in here and change general settings, uh, display and startup, display non-critical messages, auto-update, all that good stuff. 
There is also tools on this program where there's they have what's called the USB vaccination, which will uh, pretty much make your USB uh, vaccinated and can prevent viruses from infecting your USB drives like it says right here. So I was like, that's pretty crazy. I got to try that. I've never heard of vaccinating USB. <laughs> uh, what I like about this program, though, is its tune-up capability. The tools it has are awesome. You can go ahead and tune it up. That's what we're doing right now. And it does it really quick. And it does seem to make a difference. I noticed that. It really does a difference. you got to restart the computer, though, for it to go into effect. History cleaner, they also have that. Go ahead and start that. All these tools are go do their job really, really fast. And that's what I like about it. Awesome. That's clean. They also have a registry cleaner. Secure delete, where you can actually pick a file that you want to delete permanently securely from your computer so that that can be handy and it can be dangerous and destructive at the same time and the most important tool windows temp cleaner this whenever your internet starts going really slow web pages is web pages open up really really slow you use the temporary file cleaner go ahead and click start clean there's no files because i already did this all right and that's pretty much it and it's not going to let you update until you actually buy the program so until you activate it and actually buy it you won't be able to update it. Let's go ahead and see how much this program costs real quick. Now it's set for Euros, so this is a European uh, software. Uh, for one PC, $49.95 for one year, uh, so on and so forth. You can look at the list here. Like I said, I did post the link on the description of the video, so you can go ahead and check this out. Check out the website, download the free trial if you want to try it for yourself. So let's go ahead and recap what we just uh, reviewed here. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go over the pros and cons of Phase Seven Total Security. The pros: it has a lifetime license that never expires. And I forgot to mention that, but that's awesome. All right, you never have to renew it. Unlike other antivirus programs, where you have to renew it every year or a couple months or every, I've seen some that are even every month, which is ridiculous. So the lifetime license, that's awesome. Very effective for blocking malicious URLs. That's what Phase 7 is known for. HTTPnet checks. The firewall stop attacks and blocks everything. So, so that's good. Has backup utility. Has registry cleaner. Al although the backup utility, I think it's, uh, even though it says it has it, I don't think it works that well. I think that's part of the con to it. We'll see that here in a bit. It has a registry cleaner, as we saw here, as we saw earlier. Allows you to reverse any changes that prove problematic. So that's good. If they do something bad, you can reverse it. And while deleting threats, it won't slow down your PC. And that's just something I noticed about this program. That's what I love about it. That's one of the things I do love about it. And the cons. Right, it's a mediocre antivirus. And the ratings are the ratings are very low from, from the lab tech. It's very mediocre. So it's not that popular. That's, that's what sucks about it. And uh, flags many programs as malware. For example, when I was installing this program, it made me uninstall my super anti-spyware program. And super anti-spyware is known to be one of the best anti-spyware programs. The XK7 didn't like him and made me uninstall it just to install K7. So it will flag programs as malware. And parental control system doesn't work very well, as you guys noticed a while ago while we were going th through the parental control system. And it's got a uh, mediocre phishing protection. I think I might have misspelled that. I think that's how you spell mediocre. Let me know in the comments if I spelled that right. <laughs> but the phishing protection isn't that bad. And no online backup. So it's got a backup utility, but it's not online. And that's, that, that, that can be bad. That can be very, very bad. And uh, private data protection actually exposes private data. And it's been known to do that. And the anti-spam service failed. Uh, when when uh, PC Magazine tested this, actually the anti-spam service failed on the initial test. So there you are, the pros and cons. Um, pretty much they're weighted equally, the pros and cons. I give this program a 50% uh, satisfactory uh, review coming from me because it's pretty much half and half, the pros and the cons about it. Pretty mediocre, like I said. There you have it. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more reviews and more software coming out. Like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.